Hey you sexy muchacho, I'm Matthias and in this Blender quick tip we're going to be creating some awesome looking gradient shaders. But before I begin, just a heads up, there is a written version of this tutorial available, I'll link it in the description down below. So let's get started. I've got a very rudimentary scene set up here with some basic image planes and a couple of spotlights. And what I want to do is apply a gradient shader to this sphere here. So what I'm going to do is select, go to materials editor, and then select new materials. We'll name it gradient sphere. Now I want my material to emit its own light. So down here under surface, I'm going to select emission. Let's split our view here. And select the editor type to be shader editor. N key to hide the properties panel and I'm gonna maximize my view here by hitting control and spacebar just so we have more room to work with. Now we need a way to instruct Blender how to map our gradient shader to our 3D geometry. To do that I'm gonna hit shift A to bring up the add node menu, input and texture coordinates. So we can adjust the mapping of the gradient on our 3D object. We're going to add a mapping node by going to vector and then selecting mapping. From the texture coordinates node, I'm going to select the object output and plug it in to vector of the mapping node. Next, add a gradient texture by going to texture and then selecting gradient texture. Now plug the vector output to the gradient texture like so. Now finally we want to add some color to our gradient and to do that, you ready for this boys? We're going to add a color ramp. Now finally we're going to plug our gradient texture into our color ramp and then select the output of the color ramp and plug it into the emission shader. As you can see my gradient is appearing vertically here but I want it to appear horizontally. So to adjust this, I'm going to head back into my nodes and adjust the settings on my mapping node. I'm going to set the Y rotation to 90 degrees. You might have to play around with these settings depending on your own scene. Back to the color ramp node, I'm going to add a new color stop by adding this plus icon and then by selecting the stop, I can set my color. Now you can add as many colors as you want, but for this tutorial I'm just going to go with yellow, red and pink. I definitely recommend playing around with this. Once you have your color selected, I'm going to set the interpolation mode to B-spline. At this point I'm not really happy with my gradient texture because I've got too much pink and I want more of the yellow coming through, so I'm going to head back to the mapping node and adjust the X location of the gradient. Finally, I'd like my gradient material to be a bit brighter. So what I'm going to do is go to the emission node and adjust the strength. And there you have it folks. Thank you for watching. Stay awesome.